Central Florida for MLG Saturday night. We're kicking it off tonight with match number one, our six-seeded classic taking on the seven-seeded final boss. And it's time now to introduce you to our classic lineup. They're coming in in red tonight. And of course, Scott, we have Chig, who has been going off all day long. The new addition into Zoxic, the original member of Classic Soldier 187, and their fearless leader, Ghost Ayami. And on the other side, Chris, we have my team to watch this weekend. Final balls. You got Ogre 2, Victory X, the new addition, Tots, and the player I'm watching this weekend, Fear Itself, who's actually the second most positive in this whole tournament. Ooh, throwing out stats, taking D Max job. I love it. So here we go, guys. Final boss versus classic. We're gearing up for game number one right now. And boy, is it going to be a good one. Heretic CTF. Now, remember, on this game type, it's the first team to score five flags. There's no power weapons except for the sword top middle. So it's mostly going to be all about the battle rifles. And look for both teams to be trying to control that area, the pink tower. We're opening this game up right now with the player who did the most damage to their opponent in the round previous to this. It's Chig. Uh, now, now when, you, when you look at what Chig has done, this event, a positive 21 so far, the fourth most positive player. He's on fire. Say, say those stats again. Let that sink in. A, a yeah. positive 21. He's only played nine games, so he's been consistent all game long, all see, all tournament long. It's been pretty good so far. Highs for Classic. And we are looking for him to get heated up here on Heretic right now. We have Ghost Ayami, Chig, and Tizoxic all trying to lock down the pink tower. Meanwhile, they're sending out Soldier 187 to watch Carbine. And the player I'm going to be watching this game for final boss is going to be Ogre 2. Everyone in this game is going to be looking to lock down pink. But Scott, as you know back from the Halo 2 days, Ogre 2 tends to go over there. Yeah, Ogre 2 really has a great job at controlling pink. He doesn't overcommit on any kill. He really sits in pink tower, kind of pokes out in the front, but uses his advantage, uses the height advantage. And we saw that Victor X right now is trying to pull that flag, bring it car side. The flag is going to be returned by Tzoxic, but three members of Classic are now down, and Final Boss is going to look to push out on car side. Right now we're checking out as Victory X is going to three-shot Gosiami, getting some help from Ogre 2 behind him, and now they're going to be pushing up. There's the kill on Chig. Fear itself is there to back him up, and you got to love the team shot we're seeing out of Final Boss today. It wasn't there last night. Now I like it. Victory X's play right here. He's going to sit top middle. He's going to wait for his teammate to throw it up, and now he has a safe flag or safe flag attempt Ooh. as long as they didn't spawn car three. And they, he's going to be stopped, though. So what looked like almost a guaranteed flag cap is going to go back. The flag is stuck top middle, and Chig is there to recover it. Actually, that was Tzoxic we are watching, but we're staying on board with Chig, and he gets a very generous car two spawn. Yeah, and uh, the beauty of watching this classic squad is Every team at the five-team land could not beat them in this game type. This is the only game type they took in the money match versus final balls. So it's interesting to see how they play in turning. And you know what I was talking to Ghost Ayami about was I was asking him, why were you guys so strong in this game type? And he said, you know, as, as Team Classic, we really prefer the small maps, Amplified, Heretic, the maps where we can use our team shot. So we'll see if that comes into effect later. So far, I've kind of just seen Classic win their individual battles. Now you're seeing the teamwork in pink, too. So Tzoxic, the only member alive from Team Classic, the rest of the teammates killed in pink too. He's going to wait on Chick to come back and support him as he goes up to P3. Let's see how Chick plays this. It looks like he's going to go clear out car side. And that's what he should be doing right now. You can't overload pink because then someone can sneak in from car. But if you go carbine side, you can kick them by surprise and put shots into the guy's pink too. And again, three down for Classic. So, DMAC, I'm really watching this Classic squad over here, but what's going on with Final Boss? Well, when you're looking at Final Boss right now, they're all set up on the pink side. And, and it's interesting. They're holding three people on one side, and they're really looking for the flank with Victory X on the carbine side, and that's why they were able to take all of Classic down right there. All right, well, we're now watching Final Boss and Ogre 2 on your screen. You see the flag pink one. Ogre 2 is going to be the flag runner coming off his spawn. And this will be the first capture. Remember, they failed twice, and there we go. So final boss, the first team on the board. And they've really changed their identity this tournament. When you look at final boss now, Victory X and Fear itself are the two main slayers on the team. In fact, when you combine their stats, they've been positive 56 together as a duo. That's the highest duo in this game so far. So they've been very effective so far this tournament. And right now, three members from final boss finally dead. 
all four down. We're going to switch back over to Team Classic here. We have Soldier 187 set up in pink, too. And we have Chick pushing into the final boss base from Carbine side. And Soldier is going to be taken down in P2. You see his teammate, that's Tizoxic with the JO3. He's sitting up on Sword Spawn, and he is the heaviest target. He's going to be taken down as well. So back and forth, these slaying battles are going. It seems whichever team takes control of P3, Scott, is really getting about three of the other opponents dead. And, and the thing is, this final boss is so good at taking over pink control. They send two guys up and they leave the guy in their window to put shots in. And then as soon as Classic over commits, they get control and they cap. And what they did there, Scott, was they had that pink tower. They got three down and they sent Fear itself in to grab the flag. Now we're watching, though, it's already 2-0 for final boss. We're watching as Ghostiami from Classic is start to focusing on the, the objective. He snuck into final boss's base and he grabbed that one. More of just a distraction play here, but I expect him to be all over FB's base if Classic can start winning their individual battles. Yeah, Ghost really needs to get under their base. As soon as he can get under their base, he'll be a distraction and his teammates can get into a group. It's very important if you're Ghostiami to get Tzoxic and Chick into a groove to where they're going to dominate this game. And that's what he does as a team captain. You don't expect Ghostiami to go off to statistically. In fact, he's one of the most negative players in this tournament so far. He's negative 18 throughout this tournament, but it's all about the dirty work. He's still the most important piece to this puzzle. That's right. Stats don't always tell the big picture. DMAC just told you what he does. And watch Tots. Got to love his movement there with the flag. Cuts out into car one, goes back up. I thought he was going to be safe getting back to the base. He's going to be taken down. But don't worry because you have Victory X and Fear Itself still alive. And Victory X is going for the flag run. This is a completely different final boss than we saw Friday night. I mean, clearly it was because they 3 0 straight ripping. But this team is actually aggressive. They are getting caps after caps. If their backs up aren't up against the wall, this is an impressive team. And what I like is they're not necessarily going for setups. They're kind of just throwing themselves in the right positions this game. Uh, it's really confidence when you really look at it. It's much more fi a confident final boss. They're going to play their play style. They're going to play their game, and they're not scared now. They're aggressive, like you said, Scott. And and here we go. We have Victor X, the last member alive for final boss, trying to run the flag. Tots is coming off the respawn to help him out on car side. And that is perfect because that's going to help Fear itself and Ogre 2 spawn near him. Wow. And now they have all four members alive here, and they're going to be able to put in this fourth flag quite possibly. It's in the hands of Ogre 2. You see him on your screen. He's got to dodge the grenade. So Soldier 187 and Chig are hunting him wow. down. And Ogre 2 puts it in 4-0. Guys, final boss is coming out on fire. And Classic cannot get control. Victory X is absolutely playing out of his mind. And so is Fear itself. These guys are going to hold this team together. As long as Tots and Ogre 2 are grabbing the flag, this team's easily going to take the series. And, and they finally shaped themselves as a team. You know, you have the duo, the two main slayers. You have the objective-minded player in Tots. And then you have the leader in Ogre 2. Very complete play from Final Boss. And right now we're switching over to Fear itself. Scott, your player to watch this weekend. He's been hot so far this, today. And he's playing pretty darn well in game one of this match. Yeah, and I was talking to him before this event started, and I said, which side do you prefer, pink or car? And he said, pretty much I just go wherever my teammates aren't, and that way I can clean up the kills because they normally weaken everyone for me. And here we go. He's got the car spawn helping out Victory X with the kill on Chig. We, and we switched over to Zoxic, who is inside of the final boss base. He's got Soldier 187 in front of him. They're going to try and double-team Ogre 2, who just spawned car 2. And now it's going to be Tzoxic versus who's got the flag on final boss that it does, doesn't matter. Ghost Yami is there to get the return, and they're going to keep this one going. Classic trying to get their first cap of the game. And Victor X has a perfect grenade before he dies, stopping the flag short. Soldier 187 is there, but he's got grenades at his oh. feet as well. The flag stop inches away, but Chig is right there to put it in. So it's now 4-1. to one. Classic finally on the board. Final boss cannot pull a straight rip in, though. They cannot let the other team come <laughs> back and get five caps straight. And we're going to listen in for a little bit with this classic squad. I want to see what they can do. Can they feed off of that momentum they just gained with that last flag cap? His face, his face, one face, uh, face and all the last Pink one, drop behind you. Yeah, pink one, pink one right now. Yeah, pink one, pink one right now. 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 Pink one
Let's go, let's go. Three dead. Watch me one, watch me And here we go, guys, coming out of the listening for this play. Ogre 2 grabbing the flag and running in. Five to one. Final boss is pumped. All right, so final boss coming out hot. Look at the stats. Victory X and Fair itself, I guess you could say those are the slayers on the team. Ogre 2 and Tots, they did the objective work and they take the W. They really have it figured out as a team exactly what roles each player wants to play, and that's why they're clicking. All right, so there you see it. Final boss taking game one. We're going into game.